Here are the stories making news at this hour. I'm Marissa Bailey. The 50th annual Special Olympic Spring Games is kicking off here in Chicago. Here is Mike Puccinelli with that story. And it certainly is rocking out here. Very loud, very hard to hear, but it's an electric atmosphere. I'm going to step out of the way right now so you can get a look at some of the more than 4,500 athletes that are taking part right now. They are in the middle of the parade of athletes into the stadium. It's been going on for about the last half hour. When you have 4,500 athletes, it definitely takes a while. Now, this is something that started in Chicago 50 years ago and has spread to more than 170 countries all around the world. And that is Payless Heights' own Kendall Coyne, the hockey gold medalist, high-fiving some of the athletes as they were making their way into the stadium a short while ago. She is one of the honorary coaches for this team this year, along with six-time White Sox All-Star Harold Baines. Now, both say supporting the Special Olympics is really important to them because it's carrying the long tradition of Chicagoans supporting the Special Olympics. It's very inspiring that these kids will have disabilities, but they don't have disabilities, they're having a great time. It makes you want to be a better person, be the best kind of, be the best person you can be every day, and um, they're just amazing people, amazing athletes, and um, they just, it's just so fun to be around them. And if you want to take part by supporting the 4,500 athletes, all you need to do is head to Dunbar Park on 31st Street from May 7th to the 11th from 9 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Athletes will be taking part in more than two dozen different track and field events. They can start competing at age 8 and go all the way up into adulthood, maybe into the 80s if they want. So there's a lot of things you can check out at Dunbar Park on 31st Street. Now this of course started so humbly with a one-time physical education coach who's now a Supreme Court Justice in Illinois, Ann Burke. She of course partnered with Eunice Kennedy Shriver, and it blossomed into this. Literally more than five million athletes around the world will be taking part in the Special Olympics this year, the golden anniversary of when it all began right here in Soldier Field in July of 1968. So I'm really proud to be out here celebrating with these amazing athletes today. And more rain is on the way. Here's meteorologist Megan Galeros with the forecast. Hey everybody, we may be dry out there right now with some cloud cover and expecting it to remain that way with a very low rain chance up until about 5 o'clock. Then that rain chance starts to trend up as we see some showers and storms firing up again. Eventually they trend back down into tomorrow morning. So we're still looking at the potential for some additional severe weather chances. It looks like the slight risk zone has pushed a little bit farther west though. Good news for us, but we're still in the marginal risk area. So while we are looking at an improving weather situation, we still have some storms to get through. We're going to be topping out today right around 75 degrees, 72 on Friday, Saturday, 75, 62 degrees on Sunday. We're kind of back and forth with off and on rain chances. Saturday looks like the better day of the weekend, but even Sunday it'll be in the low 60s with just a few scattered showers. Today 75 and again back half of the day is our best chance for storms.